F with my first video of 2021. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I just want to say I hope everyone had a great Christmas if you celebrate it and New Year's if you celebrate it. Yes, in some instances, uh, there are people who do not celebrate it. So, you know, totally support that too. I'm really happy to have uh, everyone back on the channel today. Uh, and if you're just a first time viewer, if you're like, yo, let me click on this video because I want to see how the group ranking uh, works out, then you know what? Welcome. And if you're signed in, go ahead and hit that sub button because you already know it's going to be good. First thing we're going to do is in the description, you're going to find, if you go to the model, you're going to find toolbox. Or you're going to, well, you're going to go to your toolbox. You're going to insert this thing called group rank. Now, it's going to be a form of a billboard GUI. Just leave that in the uh, workplace right now. We're not going to need that. We just need one simple script for this video. And let's just go and call that group. Uh, if I can spell it right, group rank shower, something like that. Script name does not matter. And what we're going to be doing is saying local players. I normally show you guys how it works at the beginning, but this is like super simple. Uh, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, it's extremely simple. I'll go ahead and just, uh, you guys can fast forward the video if you want and see how it works as well. All right, now that we're typing in script dot, what I want to do is move this group rank down to group rank shower. Now you'll see when I test it what it looks like. You can always modify it by yourself. This is just one that I provided for you guys. Now what you're going to do is local group ID equals, so this is the group ID. So this is mine. So what you, how you can find your group ID, you're going to want to go and open up your browser. Upon opening up your browser, you're going to go here and you're going to find the link. Now for me, this is the link right here. This is the about section for infinite drivers and you're going to find the group. It's the numbers right here. All right, so once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and just insert that number right there. Now, we're only looking at about 15, 16 lines of code here, so uh, as a total for the script, so only about writing about 9, 10 here. So what we're going to say is players.player added. This should autocomplete. We're going to say connect function. Now, if you guys are like, wow, this guy's really cool, blah, 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 you know, because I think I am. I like to refrigerate myself. That's how cool I am. Uh, yeah, but... um. Go ahead and make a purchase on Limitless Gamer. Uh, all those um, purchases help fund the channel. If you uh, f don't feel like just donating regularly, you can just uh, make a purchase so you can get something out of it. Uh, that would mean a great deal for me. And then we'll say humanoid dot display distance type equals. So if you're still following along uh, and you didn't just take the place from the description, I will go ahead and explain this to you. This is a great way to just learn. Uh, so you're going to want to do display distance type. And you're going to do none. So what we're doing here is when the player is added, we're going to go and change their display distance type. So we are going to make sure that when the camera is displayed among the player, there's a different type that you can do. So instead of none, you can do subject or viewer. But I'm just going to put none. Subject is when you're focusing on a certain part or subject and viewers when you're viewing a certain player. Uh, that's also used for like various camera modes like spectating. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip a line. We'll say local clone. I don't like to use the word clone a lot. So let's just go ahead and type cloned UI. If I can spell it right. Then what we'll do is we'll say GUI clone. This should automatically pop up. And then we'll say cloned G, cloned UI. Sorry about that. Equals car. It's it's care. It, it's actually char. Actually, no, wait. It's character. Uh, dot head. Now, head's not going to autocomplete. And what we'll do is we'll say cloned UI dot name. So what I have in here is I have it namey. That, I just put it like that. It was a typo. And then I just never got around to change it. We'll say text equals player dot name. And the reason why we have to go through the player added function and we have to change the display type is so that everyone in the session can see this. If you do not want everyone in the session to see this, just make this a local script inside this UI inside the player. You can find local versus server in my nil to mill series. 
Then we'll say cloned UI dot rank dot text equals player get role. Now be careful how you spell this in group group ID. Now let me go and explain what we just did because that was it's quite a bit. So first off, we have the players. You already know how that works. We have our all the players in the session. Then we have our reference to our UI, which is located. It's called the group rank. It's the billboard UI. And then we have our group ID. This is the ID, ID of the group that we want to reference. Then what we'll say is players.player added. So when a player is added, we're going to go and find their character, their, their player character inside the game. We're going to change their display type so that everyone can see it. And then what we'll do is we'll say the clone UI, so we'll get it and we'll clone it. The reason why we clone is that way, if you just take it from the script, let's just say I enter the game, right? Person A enters the game and I don't have clone on. That means I'll take this UI and give it to person A. That way when person B joins, well, I can't take the UI anymore because it's gone because person A took it. That's why we always need to make a clone. I don't know if I went over that before, but that's why you would make a clone. Then what we'll say is cloned UI and we'll change the parent of that. And how we change the parent of that is saying dot parent equals card at head anything. So a lot of you guys may not know this, but this is a really internal thing with Roblox is anything that is under the character's head, not arms or anything like that is just, it has to be under the certain head model or the head part that will automatically be displayed above the character. That's why you'll see that a character's name is, is like for mine, it's official wrist draft. You'll see it when I'm in game because that's my character's name and I have a head. So it'll basically show above my head. Then we are basically just going to say their name dot text equals player dot name simple as that we just change the name text to their name and then their rank text so what we have to do is use a built-in function called get role in group this makes it so much easier this gets their role in group so uh, of the group id that we did find so let's go ahead and test this out all right i'm gonna go ahead and join and you'll see that i am the co-founder and my name is above if you do want to like switch these and move it around, you're going to have to edit the UI, nothing script related unless you change any names. So that's basically what it's intended to do. I hope you guys had a great day today. Uh, and I guys, I hope you have a great day tomorrow and the rest of the week in 2021 because I know we're all in that now. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads lately. Just been busy, you know, with the whole school break and everything. Uh, make a purchase on Limitless Gamer or Loaded Fitness. Links will be in the description. And if you guys have any business inquiries, contact at rishraft.com is the email to go. And I go and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.